So guys, welcome back to the channel. So you will see I am painting the wheels on the David Brown 996, apart from this one here, this is the last one to go. So I'm doing it by hand, the sanding, and then using a paintbrush, which I'm actually getting a really good effect on anyway, as you would have seen from the intro there. So this is the front right. Look at that shine. Looks so much better compared to that. Ugh. So it's quite a big surface area. I do need to do the inside of this one. I haven't done the inside of that one yet, but I have done the inners on the front. So they're a smaller area and easier to uh, reach, as you'll see there on both sides. So today, what we are going to be doing is getting that one sanded down, giving her a coat of paint, and then we'll have a good look round and see what we think with the four wheels painted. The idea is really just to repaint the whole tractor, basically. Um, it's not the original paint from what we can tell. So I'd rather uh, give her another go and give, do a good job of it. And hopefully we have a nice tidy tractor at the end of it. I've also got the Orchid White. Um, thankfully, whoever mentioned in the comments in the last video about the paint not being poppy red. Thank you very much. We've got that change it is now, as you can see, power red. So lucky escape there. Um, so thank you for that one. Hope you enjoy the video. There is also another way to get rid of the flaking paint to start with, which I should have over here, I hope. I hope it hasn't been nicked. Let's have a look. It's been robbed. No. Ugh. So um, you can also use a wire brush um, to help take off the flaking paint as well. What? Wire brush in the bag. In the bag? Nick in my wire brush. <sighs> Oh, that's a big one, there it is. So you can also get a wire brush, and like so. You could do both as well, sandpaper and wire brush. Or you could be clever and just get electric sander, but I can't find ours, so. So the wheel is now sanded down. There's always gonna be some little bumps and ripples, but they're generally flat and smooth now. They're nice and smooth. The paint will stick very well, as you've seen on the other three. So here is the uh, power red. It's buzzing. Oh great, there's a bee! No! Look at that! Get away! The only reason I'm worried about the bee is because I've got my daughter with me and I don't want her getting stung. She's always with me watching and helping. God! Where do you guys want to be about there? Right to me. So let's uh, crack on. So I'm using a small brush. What I found the other day, rather than just going like this back and forwards, it doesn't quite get into these little cracks. But by dabbing it in, you should see here, you should be able to see here. By dabbing it into it rather than going across, I'll show you. I'll go across, all right, and you can still see it. If I dab the paint in, it works it in better, and then go across.
making sure I get enough paint in there as well. You don't want to put too little paint on, but we are going to do second coat anyway. Right, I'm about to try and get a shadow on it, guys. Here's the first coat. Now, to the camera, it will look really much better than it does. So I'll take you right in. Let's see if we can get. Yeah, the right light, guys. We are really struggling for the light here. This sun is. What is it doing? Right. Oh, I can't get you in there, guys. That light is oh, beaming on it. Hang on. I'll have to shadow it. So, when you paint with a brush and you've got these ripples there, I think we can make it in here. You'll get this black effect underneath. So the second coat, when I do it later, will draw that out. So from this eye, it looks brilliant, but as you're getting closer, see, this is the second coat here, and there isn't any because I've gone over it. Now let's go over to here. I've just done a second coat round here on this one, and it's cleared it. That's better, the lighting's better. Crystal Rose. Hey, I won't be a second. So, you'll see around here a lot of it's now cleared up with that second coat. Makes a huge difference. <laughs> so guys, what do you uh, make of it then with the uh, wheels painted? Obviously I still want to paint the chassis. I want to do the whites as well and the blacks of the cab. Oh, you can see the blue beast over there. She's looking quite tidy at the minute. Um, I need to paint the bucket. I don't know what colour to do the bucket. So what do you guys think? What colour should I do the bucket? Orange, black, white, um, even like an agri blue or something. I don't know. I was thinking black or leave it, but I don't know. Let me know, know what you guys think. Okay, so we've got most of the lights working. There's a few more lights we want to check. This brake, I believe it's a hydraulic piston, is really sticking the season on, which is why the other day... When I told you about that near accident we had in the top field, well, that is why it's the hydraulic piston for the brake that's sticking. So the brake levers, you know, get to the point where it hardly even moves. Um, so uh, right then, guys, I am going to leave this video here. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, drop me comments down below what you think on it with the paint on the orange wheels. Where you think I should go ahead and paint the rest of it? I think I should because I don't think any of it's original paint anyway. Uh, and also, what colour you think I should do the bucket as well? Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in our next video. Take care.